Oh, hello, hello. Back for just a uh, quick review. Um, I was really curious about the um, internals of the SMSL um, Power Amp 03. Um, so I decided to take it apart. Uh, it was pretty easy. It was all just uh, uh, Allen keys or hex hex heads. Um, and I thought I'd do a little comparison against the um, uh, TA2021 um, uh, kit board. Well, I, I say kit, but hey, it comes all soldered together, but you have to put it in the case yourself. Um, difference being, um, get on camera, white balance. This one cost $25, this one cost for oh, a little bit over 50 I think. Um, very similar build quality. Um, on the SMSL you've got um, a really big, um, oh I'm not sure the camera's going to focus, there you go, um, 4700 microfarad capacitor, and then two little, I think those ones, and then two little ones here, I'm not sure if they're on the audio section or not. Anyway, um, both of them have speaker protection relays, which is always something I look out for. I don't, honestly, I just don't buy these things without them. Um, they're both, SMSL's got a slightly bigger heatsink, um, which is pretty good. This one's still a good size, but, you know, bigger is usually better with these sort of things. Um, the ferrite chokes look about the same. Um, got the same amount of capacitors, little polypropylenes there. Um, difference, of course, they've got different. Sadly, I thought these were the same, and they're actually different. Oh, actually, let me, let me check something. Uh, oh, can I even get this off with one hand? Oh, will that fit on there? Oh, okay, it will. They are the same. Huh. So they've got the same... Um, snap-in binding posts, which they are, um, it's not a bad solution, they're a little bit, um, SMSL were nice enough to actually send me a little, um, a little screwdriver with the kit to do these up, just in case you didn't have one. Um, I've got plenty of those screwdrivers lying around, so it wasn't a big deal, but, and there. Um, yeah. Um, I would say, though, that the workmanship on this one is a little bit better than the SMSL. I mean, you know, you've got capacitors that, you know, haven't really been stuck in straight. You know, you've got LEDs that are just sort of like a little bit crooked. Um, okay, that's interesting. They actually use different chips. This, the SMSL uses a TA2020, and this one uses a TA2021. So this one's slightly newer technology. Um, the SMSL had this weird junk on the back. I tried to scrub it off with um, some just some uh, methylated spirits, but it's all tacky. Um, solder work looks okay. Um, there's no nothing in there that couple I wouldn't might just touch up but most of them look okay. Um, the back of the TA 20, 2021 looks pretty damn good really. Um, all these surface mount uh, I don't can't tell if they're resistors or capacitors. Mm, very, the writing's very hard to read. So really good work on this one. Um, everything's on nice and straight. Yeah. Uh, oh, consequently, these have a bank of so, there's a, so 1,000 microfarads, and there's seven of them. One, two, three. Yep, seven. So that has 7,000. So that yeah, <laughs> isn't that weird? So this technically has more capacitance 
than this. Crazy. Although I don't know what these little ones here are because they're very hard to read. They're very... I can't get an angle on those. So yeah. Um, the volume knob on the uh, TA2021 is a bit stiffer than the SMSL. Although it could just be because of the knob, I'm not 100% sure. Um, these well, looks like exactly the same um, power switch. So yeah, um, so yeah. If, if from a pure money perspective, the uh, the raw board, the raw twenty a twenty twenty one wins like for value for money. Like I've tested these side by side, and they sound almost well. I can't tell them apart. They sound as good as each other. Um, do be aware though that uh, you know eBay being eBay, there's there's also this model here that has two large filter capacitors and then it has got these three up here um, I suspect they just send you whatever one is available at the time I don't imagine either one sounding better than the other um, I mean I'm not unhappy with this one, I'm not complaining but yeah um, so you want a really good 10 watt T amplifier and you don't care about it coming in a nice fancy box 25 bucks to your door, awesome value If you need it to look pretty You know, get the SMSL in the case But you know, you, you, you're honestly, you're paying 25 bucks for a $5 aluminium enclosure <laughs> You know, you could chuck this in a, in a Tupperware or something And it would sound just as good Ah, that's me, my two cents on two great little amplifiers, signing out.